Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here today at the Tommy LaPuma Center for Creative Arts at Tri-C, Cuyahoga Community College. And we're here with Tommy LaPuma himself and Dominic Farinacci. You guys are working on some kind of super session here, huh? Tommy, what's what's going on? Well, we're uh, doing Dominic's album. So, Dominic, you got a name for this album yet? No, no, we got to finish the music first, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll probably come up with something pretty good. Okay. Tommy, Tommy's usually pretty good in that area, so, you know, it'll be all right. So I heard you guys have already been working on what the tracks are, and then you guys, have been, some of the musicians don't know. I talked to Steve Gaddy. He's like, I'm not sure quite exactly what, what's going on, but you guys have been working on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been working on it for the past year, year and a half yeah. mm -hmm. in regard to the material, you know. Right, right. And, uh, you know, the musicians usually don't know what we're going to be doing until we get to the date. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, but uh, you know these these guys are like you know not only the first class guys but they it doesn't take them long to catch on to what what's happening. So you did what like three tracks or something, Dominic, yesterday. What what kind of music are you guys working on? Originals here or, or uh, you got? I see some interesting cover tunes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. It's a collection of songs from different genres and generations. Some some original songs that I wrote for sure. Um, also a, a classic, you know, Peggy Lee song, Black Coffee. Also a song from Cream, Sunshine of Your Love, yeah. and Narles Barkley, Crazy, and uh, and and quite a few more. So it's it's nice. It's a collection of you know songs from all all over the place. Right, but right, right. what really unifies it, you know, try to find the the songs that that have really great melodies and that also kind of translate instrumentally to playing melodies. So that's what we've been you know working on in the past couple of years, finding the the right songs. You know, we started with you know over a hundred. And uh, just continue to listen to more and more music and kind of narrow it down from there. So you guys work together on what the songs would be here. Now, how about the arrangements? Do you have an idea for that, Tommy? Because you know in your head, I'm sure, what's going on. We, I mean, you know, we've got a somewhat of an idea as to what, what it is that we want to do. But we have also, we, we brought Larry Goldings in, into the picture mm -hmm. to sort of set things up and, and, and come up with the... Uh, charts so to speak you know as to what chords to play and so forth right, right. and uh and then the rest of it is you know once we get out into the room and we start playing we change things around as yeah. to you know what's going to make sense once we're really doing it right how do you guys do it i know you like to be out in the studio room itself and not back here behind the board right they got a, they got a chair out there for you and everything oh, right no no, no no there's too much there's too many distractions in the booth you know <laughs> Phones ringing, people talking. Uh, it's it's too too much chaos. I I, I want to be out there with the with the guys and be able to just speak, you know, without having to turn a talk back on. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. And Dominic, this is your session, man. This is your album, right? So a little different than you doing a live gig for someone else or sitting in on someone else's session. What what's that like? The pressure on a little bit? Oh, there's always pressure in anything we do. Yeah, but I mean, for me, you know, live performance and you know, this is what we. I do the most and it's you know it's that's that's fun it doesn't even feel like work being in the studio while I love every minute of it it's 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 hard work you know the level of of, of attention to detail and you have to focus every single second of every single moment you know it's happening and it's amazing you know the the amount of time and in, in, in effort that goes into one track one four minute track you know it could take hours sometimes it could you know take a day with these guys we did in the past three songs you know it was the first and second take which was cool so tommy you've worked with some of the best george benson and uh barbara streisand and diana crawl and uh paul mccartney you've won what five grammys it's it's just unbelievable what's it like Working here with, with you got some of the best people on this session as well. You got Steve Gadd and you got Jamie Haddad. I mean, you got some real pros. And you got the students working, right? I mean, that's, that's an important aspect of what this studio is all about, right? Well, the students are getting a chance to see what it's like to, to, to make an album. You know, you can go to school for four years, eight years, I don't care how many years you go, unless you're actually, you know, either in a studio yourself doing it or or have the ability to go to a major you know city where these sessions happen regularly and get a sense as to how how it's done it's it's not that uh you know this is really a a special occasion to give students a chance to see what it's like to to put a record together 
Well, it is such an honor to be here with you guys. Thank you for taking a few moments of your time. we got a bunch of students waiting for you. got the studio all set up. The musicians are here. Good luck with your session. Thanks so much. Thomas, thank you very much, man. Yeah, thank you very much, man. I always appreciate it. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.